I'd like to talk to you today about the Biomed Devices uh, blender line. Uh, Biomed Devices has probably the most versatile blender line in the industry. Uh, we have high flow blenders, uh, low flow blenders, and even mid flow blenders. Uh, this is the uh, standard low flow blender. Typically uh, in a neonatal intensive care unit, you're gonna probably see one of these at every bedside. This is kind of the standard, um, has a port on either side. Of course, this blender, you can't really use it until you add your flow meters here. So typically people will put a flow meter on either side. One, you'll usually connect a resuscitation bag. So you might have a zero to 15 liter flow meter on this side and say a low flow on this side to do say a low flow nasal cannula. Problem is, when you put these flow meters on, you're kind of hanging out to the side just because you have to screw them on. Uh, the other thing is, whenever you add a flow meter to this side of the blender, this is our blenders and most competitors, you activate a three liter bleed flow. Now three liters is not a lot of flow, but when you have a 50 bed unit um, and that flow is going 24 seven, that, that ends up to be quite a lot of uh, gas usage. So what we did is we came out with our Neo2 blend. So rather than have you have the flow meters hanging out to the side, we, we actually hard mounted a zero to 15 on this side. So you can add your resuscitation bag. On this side, we actually have three different options. You can go with zero to 15 liter, um, zero to three and a half, which is on here now. You can still dial in the accuracies down to say an eighth of a liter if need be. And then we have a zero to one liter for people that really want to be accurate with those low flows. The nice thing about this is when this is in the up position, I activate the bleed flow. What bleed flows are for is so that you can get accuracy at those low um, flow ranges below three liters. So, but if you have a patient on a ventilator and you have the recess bag connected and you're not really using this side, you can push and turn and actually shut off that bleed flow when you're not using it. So you're not wasting that three liters um, gas 24 seven. When you need to use it, you just flip it up into place and it's ready to go. The other use for blenders is the high flow blender. Uh, typically, High flow blenders used to be used um, back in the days when uh, the blender would actually supply the gas supply for, for the ventilator. Today about the main, really the only application for high flow blenders is, is with a high flow nasal cannula. So in that case, we might want to deliver flows to a patient with a high flow nasal cannula up to 60 liters a minute. So we have our 2002 F70D that has a zero to 70 liter flow meter hard mounted to the side. So we're taking up a lot less space and you can dial those flows. Um, a low flow blender has a maximum output of 30 liters a minute, whereas the high flow will output up to 120 liters a minute. Uh, so this is a very popular application for uh, high flow blenders. Uh, we also have, uh, if you check out our website, we have full range of uh, different blenders. We have a blender that's actually specific for the surgery uh, um, suites. What it does is it, it has a low flow flow meter and it allows you to deliver uh, gas to a patient, say, that's under the, the drape uh, where you don't want high concentrations of oxygen to go. Uh, at a risk of fires. So if you use a blended gas flow meter, uh, so we have that as well. For more products and information, please visit our website at www.biomeddevices.com.